We've come down to the Kingfisher Hyde where over the last few weeks we've seen lots and lots of activity from our electric blue residents as they get going for the breeding season this year. Earlier this year we visited the nest bank to give it a little bit of a renovation ahead of the breeding season and then by mid-March the pair were back here excavating their new burrows ready for the season. As April progresses we should see birds start to lay their eggs around about middle to end of the month and then we'll see a period where the female will be sat tight incubating a clutch of five to seven eggs as the male visits occasionally to feed her fish. Once the chicks hatch, it's then lots and lots of activity with the male and female regularly visiting these chicks, feeding anything up to 100 fish a day for a four week period before they're ready to fledge and venture out into the wild world on their own. So over the next few weeks, we should see lots and lots of activity down here at the hide and the nesting bank. Our volunteer guides in the hides will be on hand to help you identify the birds that you can see, but see if you can pick out the male and female yourself. The male has got a long black bill, and the ladies wear the lipstick, they've got that orange lower mandible. And once the juveniles fledge after that four week period where the mum and dad are feeding them frantically, they'll hang around the nest site for a few days and they're usually quite easy to recognise, they're a dirty smudgy orange colour. But it won't be too long before mum and dad will chase them off, they'll be going for a second brood. So as the summer gets going, we should see all of this activity take place all over again. So there's a great opportunity for you to come down and see what's going on but you can keep up to date with the exact timings of what's happening here at the Nest Bank at the Kingfisher Hyde. Follow us on social media through our Facebook and Twitter pages. Head onto the sightings page of the website to see what's going on down here. And make sure you share any of your videos and photos with us on social media so everyone can see the fantastic activity that's going down here this breeding season. Welcome to the South American Pen here at WWT Slimbridge and our wonderful Chilean flamingo flock. Some of you might remember the story from the summer where our Andean flamingos foster reared some eggs laid by the Chilean flamingos. Well, those chicks are now grown up and fledged and they've been put back into the main Chilean flamingo flock. We're really interested to know how these chicks get on now they're mixing with their own species. So we've put rings on both of their legs and we've started a research project to see how their behaviours develop over time it's going to be really interesting to compare them to their parent reared siblings. It's really important we have these rings on both legs because flamingos, as I'm sure you know, go to sleep on one leg. And if they go to sleep on the leg with the ring on, we can't tell who is who. So on your next visit, see if you can spot our foster reared chicks because they'll be the ones that you can see with the rings on each of their legs. We've got lots of courtship display going on, which you can probably see in the head flagging behind me. And they're not flamingo sandcastles, but those big piles of sand are what the birds will actually use to build their nests. The Living Collections team prepares the site for the flamingos so that the best conditions are available for them to start breeding. And that's really cool for our research too, because we'd like to know how our foster reared chicks and how our parent reared chicks develop behaviourally at the same time and how eventually they might turn into parents in the future.